So we're going to do one more example with suspension bridges, but first let's analyze this strange string structure that I made. Uh, and why I made it look like this will be apparent in a minute, but let's just analyze it first. So I have uh, the string taped to the wall in three points. I've got my weights down here, so now I've got six weights and I've got one string pulling up vertical. So let's just follow our methodology and just uh, crank through this one. So I'm going to label my regions A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and I. And now I need to draw my load line, right? So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six uh, vertical weights. So I'm going to draw those first. And since uh, we've got a lot of weights now, I'm going to use a half inch as my scale. So I'm going to start here. So that's going to be what I call point C up there. And then I go one, two, three, four, five, and six. So there's my six points, my load line. So that's point C, D, E. F, G, H, and I. And so now I need to identify where points uh, A and B are. Okay, so if we look here, we can see that this region here is just like the problem we analyzed before, right? So between uh, points E and I, so that's this region right here. And so that's the region that's going downwards, right? And then this gets pulled upwards, and then this is another region over here. And if we remember when we analyzed this section, right, that we had this kind of symmetry uh, about the midpoint, right? So the midpoint of this one is going to be point G. So let me use my ruler here and just draw a kind of dashed line. It's the midpoint of uh, this structure right here. Now uh, we can just analyze this uh, in our usual way. So I'm going to take the angle here, right? So this will be connecting point E to A. So I'm going to roll that up. And the intersection of those two lines should be point A. And we can confirm it by just doing the other one. So now I go point F, intersects the same point. Point G six the same point and you can kind of see that this is not quite horizontal so I didn't build my uh, structure quite perfectly uh, but you get the point and so all these lines are going to intersect at the same location and so that there is point A all right great so we've done that one before so now uh, we need to come over here and we need to identify where point B is. Uh, so now we can kind of see when we go B to E, it's kind of the same thing as before. So now I'll follow this structure uh, and now go upwards, point D, follow that one until it intersects, goes upwards, and point C finally. And now we see those all intersect nicely within my margin of error at point B. And if we have done everything right, when I connect my vertical line here, that should connect points A and B. So look at that. Perfect. So we have uh, this kind of complicated force diagram, uh, but really it's just uh, what we've seen before. It's just two triangles and they connected by this vertical line. And this vertical line here, A to B, is representing the tension that's holding the whole thing uh, upwards. Let's do a design example and we'll see uh, what's going on here. And really, if you think about it, this kind of structure is what you often see in a suspension bridge. So if we kind of ignore the weights and imagine that this is the deck of the bridge, you just kind of focus up here, but you often see a tower, we'll see the structure that goes like that and then around on another side. So now let's do an ex design example that has that and we'll see that the force diagram needs to have a similar look. Okay, so here's a sketch of the bridge we want to design. So this is a simple suspension bridge with two towers. I've got a shore here and shore here. I want to go across the water. Um, and so you've probably seen a look like this, um, something in the Golden Gate Bridge. And so I'm going to break my deck into four equal sections so we can have uh, 
cables that will be going upwards from there. So we're just going to have four cables on this main deck, uh, equal load, just for simplicity. And I'm going to kind of sketch what I think I want this thing to look like. Kind of nice and symmetric looking with my cables kind of coming up here. Something like that. Now you can see why we have the additional deck in the tower here, um, because we're going to want something pulling in this direction, because as it stands, with these cables, all that load is going to pull these towers not only down, but inward. So we want to counterbalance that by having a cable which we anchor to the shore uh, that comes over somewhere like that. So that's just sort of a sketch of what I want to look like. Now let's design this thing uh, uh, for real. So first we have to label our loads. So we're going to have downward loads right where our cables are because that's what's supporting the string up. I mean, it's pulling the string down, sorry. And our towers are just like that vertical string in the last example that are pushing upwards. And again, we want to design it so that that load is vertical uh, because we want the towers to kind of hold everything up, but we don't want them to be pulled inwards. So that's what's going to kind of set the shape over here of this cable. So now let's label our regions A, B, C, D. Now here, the load I drew upwards, so I drew those as separate regions, A and B, so this is also D, E, F, G, H, and on this side of the tower is also H, I, and J. So there we go, pretty good. So now let's draw our uh, vertical line uh, for our load. So I'll just kind of line things up with the tower here. And kind of like I did before, I think I'm going to use a half inch scale. So let's start here, and that's going to be point C. So remember, we have C to D, D to E, E to F, F to G, G to H. and H to I. So those are my uh, downward loads. Now I just need to define points A, B, and J. Okay, so um, let's see. So by symmetry, I'm gonna start with this cable here because I know that I want my tower to be, uh, I mean my cable to be symmetric between the two towers, which means I'm gonna probably want this cable to be uh, horizontal. So let's start with, uh, right there at point F. So F to A, right, that force, that tension is going to be a horizontal line. So A has got to lie somewhere along there. Now it could lie anywhere along there, but I'm going to use my sketch to kind of guess what I think a decent angle might be. So I'm going to go something like that. So that's going to be going here, connecting to point E. So just like that, we're going to define point A. Now everything is given uh, for this structure because everything has to connect with point A. So there's that one. So there's the shape of the cable in the main span. And by symmetry, the other side is going to look exactly the same. So bring that down. And then let's bring that down. Now I have to do this draw my uh, horizontal cables to finish my structure. Now there is the main span, so there's the shape. So that looks pretty good. Uh, so now let's figure out what to do here. So if I look going from regions to A to B, there's a vertical force that we want pointing upwards. And again, we want to design it such that, that force pushes upwards. So B has got to lie somewhere along this line here. So anywhere along that line. So again, uh, I'm allowed to kind of set the angle anything I want. So let's just pick an angle that I think looks good on the diagram. Let me see, we go all the way, way up here. So now I have to find point B. Once I've defined that point, uh, there's not much left to do other than connect point C to B. Come here, connect C to B, and anchor the cable in the wall. And so we can see if we build a configuration like that, that my reaction force A to B is upwards, 
and it's pretty significant because if I measure it, it looks like it's about two and a half inches. And if you remember, a half inch is the load. So there's five units roughly pushing upwards here, which means by symmetry, there would be five units pushing roughly here. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six units pulling down. So this these towers have to take extra load because I've pulled these cables downwards uh, in order to anchor into the uh, ground here. If I wanted less load in that uh, vertical tower, I have to decrease the angle, right? So I have to bring point B way down, but that would mean that this angle has to come way out here, so I have a really long cable pull.